Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Niels and this is a short tutorial on how to make a red cubes energy matrix. And the reason why I'm doing this is because there are a few tricks to it. So I thought, you know what, if I want to do a, a lot of tutorials, then let's start with something that is kind of simple, but also kind of has some tricks to it. So let's take a look at the tech and just go through it. We have the research somewhere down here. Energy matrix, it is a blue research. So if you are in doubt about the blue research, then take a look at my jumpstart base or my ratio tutorial. They basically do all the stuff for you to lead right into making the blue matrix. So we want to do the red matrix and this is where things get a bit more difficult. Not much, but a bit. So what uh, what you want to do is you want to make two of the you want to take two of these energized graphite and two hydrogen and uh, so those are new items you need the graphite you get from coal and the hydrogen you get from oil processing so you will need to get into some oil in order for this to work so there will be two stages of this the first one will be how to do the first 400 box or 400 red cubes because once you have the first 400 red cubes my recommendation is strongly that you build a little hack to get the first 400 then you spent the first 400 on this one called x-ray cracking which will make a much much easier and a really cool little design that uh, is much more repeatable and much more sustainable so that's my recommendation and uh, yeah so let's take a look as the dawn is coming i wanted to stop and wait until we had the dawn here so we're going to start by finding an oil try to find one that is uh, close to two uh, just a slightly less than two is just fine and we're going to start by just hooking that up so this one will produce a bit more than two per second because we have a one upgrade that gives us just 10 and this one will give us some crude oil crude oil is actually just coming out on the belt in case you are in doubt so do that on a belt here we will now need a new location here and remember this is just to build it in a sort of a temporary way uh, but even if we build something temporary we might as well build it build it neat and because even if you build it temporary, you might want to keep it a bit longer than what good is. So we are going to build four of these power plants or these uh, things. And at the start of the game, or immediately you will have access to plasma refining. This is the one we're going to use. Takes two crude oil in and gives us two refined oil and one hydrogen. So we get the one hydrogen we need, but it also takes four. It takes four seconds. So if I want to get two one hydrogen in out per second, then I need four of these. And also, if I take four of these, then I'm going to consume two oil per second. And that's all that I can get out of an oil extractor at this point. So you're going to take this recipe. I'm going to use copy paste to get it to the other ones. And we're going to get a little power pole here and there. So I would, I'm assuming that you are only using Mark 1 belts and inserters. So I'm going to make it like this. And I'm pretty sure someone will go like, well, actually, you don't need this. And let me tell you, actually, you do. So... Um, you're going to take this one in. This one is now working at 0 0.75, but I'm only taking one per, what, two per four seconds, so it's 0 0.5. So that's good in terms of inbound. Yeah. And then we take outbound here and outbound there. That's very, very simple. And what we get out here is mixed belts like that. I'm going to do this. So theoretically, since you're only getting, or then with this recipe, you are getting three items out every four seconds, then a 0 0.75 speed should be enough it just turns out it isn't it just isn't fast enough and I can't really tell why it's not and I do suspect it's something with related to having two different items and because there are two different items then it kind of behaves a bit different did I did I do that correctly I don't think uh, yeah, 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 yeah that, that's correct good and then from here I'll do that one uh, I think I'll do this Uh, cut these out there and we get that one in so this is going to be you're gonna get three per second so when this one is all said and done it is not going to be a problem I would re highly recommend getting it into a splitter at this point because splitters are excellent at sorting funny how sorters are well sorters are also great at sorting but Let's, uh, we have to get something out here in either direction uh, in order to start sorting things there. I am going to take my hydrogen to one side and then I'm going to pick up from the belt here. 
until I have it empty. There, looking good. And we, I will recommend to put them into box, uh, to liquid containers. These are liquids, so they stack much better. You can put 600 in a uh, in a box, a container, a storage container, but you can put 10,000 in one of these. So much better. So what we have here, it'll take it just about a bit of time to filter out so that it runs smoothly. But at this point, you have basically two refined oil and one hydrogen coming out every second. Great. So the hydrogen is what we need in order for us to build our location, our science. So let's have a look at the science build here. One, two, three. We are going to make some reds, red belts or red energy matrix here. And from here on, we can simply take it out and here. And then you might ask, where are you going to get graphite from? Well. This is where the hacking part comes in, because I am actually not. The reason is, as I said, you only really want 200 of these, or sorry, 400 of these, so that you can get it. And I would then recommend don't spend too much time on these kind of things, because you're not really going to need it. So instead, we can probably make a little box out here where you put in your Refi uh, energized graphite, I would highly recommend just getting it. And if you're in doubt about how to do that, it's very, very simple. Can I just do that? Oops. It is an extremely simple process. That doesn't work, does it? No. No, it's too short. I, I thought so. Still not. There. And you got one to one. This one is going to take your cold so this is basically two every two seconds so you need six of those to consume a full a small belt and then you'll get three out per second so a couple of these and then you have all that you uh, you will need and we have now building this so that is the very very first thing it's very simple all you need to do in this case is build a few of these plasma researchers filter it just store this one because i don't recommend that you continue to do this kind of uh, this kind of build for long i expect you to take it out as soon as you have the first 400 you can of course let it run longer uh, but yeah there is a better build so let's jump into the better build because and then you will see why i think i i think this is as something you should do as short as a short time as possible so when you have unlocked your research that is uh where did you go there you are that one when you've unlocked this one then you have access to a better no. X-ray crank. You unlock this one. This is the first red circuit, red belt you want. It is here. What it does is it takes two hydrogen plus one refined oil every four seconds. And then you get one graphite and three hydrogen. And you can see that you get hydrogen and hydrogen out. So it's kind of a Cobrex build, if you can say that in a factorial context. So basically the net rate is you get, a, you get, you use one refined to get one graphite plus one hydrogen. Well, that's perfect, isn't it? That's exactly what we want. So the thing we want is we want to find another one. We could do the same, but I want to leave this one available so you can see it operating. And we are going to build it here. There is one condition about this one that's actually quite important. We'll get to it. Well, it's about the sequence things are beginning to build in. But we're going to start by making just a nice long line here. So this is one of those that are a bit quirky, but actually super interesting when you build it. The first thing, the only the way that you can process, you can process uh, crude oil is, at least at this thing here, is the plasma refining. So we take the plasma refining, it takes, and we go for the recipe here again, it takes two crude oil in and gets two refined oil out per four seconds. So if, if I'm just looking at it, well, that doesn't, that does seem like one of these could feel fit into two of these with the different recipe with the plasma or the x-ray cracking. And we'll just look at that because each of these recipes here Oh, there's more recipes. It's the lower one. Each of these recipes is also running at four seconds and takes one refined. So if this one is producing two refined every four seconds, then I can have two of these operating. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work like that because 
you can see this one only produce one hydrogen but this one is going to need one hydrogen to keep going but it's also going to need some hydrogen to sort of it, it's going to have a net rate of one hydrogen per four seconds but you know these two are yeah we're not getting enough basically what you could do is you could say what if this one is providing one hydrogen and one ref refined every four seconds into this one and one refined into that one then on the four second cycle this one will be producing a net rate of one hydrogen that could then go in here so that the refined oil from this one plus the plus the hydrogen here will actually allow this one to start yeah and then from here you need to feed it back into this one so it's actually going to work so that's what we're going to do we're going to basically take this one is going to feed crude uh, refined oil into both but hydrogen into one of them so let's uh, get that sorted it's uh, it's it can be done in many ways and i'm sure that everyone has their own favorite way this is my favorite way so that's the one i'm going to show you uh, it took a while to sort of get this and test that it works there is only one condition about it so you can see how close we can actually make it let's test if we can get it from here to okay maybe not that close all right oops should not have taken there and there i'll change the recipe because this has to be the x-ray cracking there and change x-ray cracking to both let me see if this one is working from here to oh right ah silly silly me of course it's not how i wanted it to be i of course wanted it to be on the side that's why i couldn't get it to work this one and now i can see because now we have the three outbounds here and here and that's gonna be absolutely wonderful so let's change this x-ray copy paste x-ray x-ray good now we can get stuff from here into that one you can see the filter i'm gonna allow both items to go in from here to here but on this one i'm not allowing the hydrogen to go in so i'm gonna filter so that it only gets the refined oil i'm gonna get a power pole in here so that it actually works and what i'm then gonna do between the two of them is i am going to simply say you're gonna take that one here you're gonna go one back and you're gonna get two that way so now you need outputs but before you get outputs and this is the one part that's super important before you get any outputs make sure you hook this up and get this going until these two are starting to work you can still build the, the belts in the meantime that's uh, not a problem but don't make it take anything out yet from here we can drag this this way and I will over here, I'll just make, I think that one is probably a good location. I can do all of these things while I, I let the other one fill up. Yeah, get in and get out. And let's get this one. And I will get hydrogen out on this one. And that means we get the other one here. So, and this case, I am going to, again, build the storage box for the hydrogen. And we're going to get a more conventional box for the graphite. Let's make those louder or it's a louder, taller. There we go. And I will get that one in here. Good. And we're going to get a little power pole here as well. Though that is not connected just yet, but I'm sure we can get it connected. So now this one, these ones are working. And once they're working, you are good to go you can take it out because then it has fed itself or fed each other across these here because these ones are feeding into each other and you need to make sure that there's a bit of a buffer so how much does this produce well it produces every four seconds it produces one of each that's the net rate one refine one ref energized graphite and one hydrogen so that's every four seconds and if i want two of each well let me just build more of these because that's uh this simple thing here there and there and it tiles really well in terms of this and it just need the only thing is you need to be absolutely sure that you hit it entirely correctly so again i'm just going to show it here that one is allowed to take both but this one is only allowed to take the refined 
and we do that and we are also getting it in so that now it starts working because as it starts working it will start building up building up some more it's good i'm gonna take this one out and because we're gonna build more of these that one here and here Does that seem right? It doesn't seem correct though. Here. Alright, and these ones are not working yet. There, just need to get it powered. Alright, so this, these, this one I hooked up as well, but I did not export it. I just wanted it to make sure that it was in active or in, was, was active. How did I not do that correctly? What did I miss? Oh, right, of course, I didn't. They also have to be feeding each other. And this is also important. There has to be two from this way to that way and one the other way. Because then it matches. Then it basically says whenever this one produces three items, one goes out here and two goes into this one. As long as these two are working, I can now start exporting it again out into the network. This one goes in here and here and here back again. And from the refining to here and that one will be dedicated and one of these and the inbound right but not the outbound yet remember no outbound yet i'll take the last one because if this is using it i'm going to need to build one more of these and when i have four of those i have all that i need and i'm again gonna take this out and let's see oops i missed it didn't i there and I'm gonna go from here unfiltered from here filtered and we're gonna get the power get the power back up get it inbound and from left to right to left and this one has been working for a while so we can start putting it out and we'll get the last one out very very soon what you're then gonna see is that when I build all of this we're just simply gonna wait for this one to start activating this is going to start activating and then it will start pushing things since it only can push things one way then it'll start pushing it towards this one and this one will start pushing it back again and now we have a stockpile here of the hydrogen which is exactly what we want and once we have a bit of stockpile then it will operate and the thing is if you don't do this then you will see them flicker on and off just gradually just ever so slightly they will just flicker off here. and what you're seeing this all of this is generating exactly six items per second that means you can exactly fill up an entire belt here and you can split it in and basically from here on you can just do as exactly as you did bring it into these locations and build one two three and build it here one two three looking good and basically we can just i want to do that because i want to just make sure that we have something complete that's going to go on one side and actually I'll get that one in here and that will go on the other side and from here I'm going to take this outbound and at this point we'll just basically make it into a box because whether you put it into a box or ferry it somewhere else that's totally up to you and let's get some power for Actually, that one is probably better, this power in here. And that one will be grabbing things in here. And with the reason why I'm choosing this amount, okay, uh, right. You need to make sure that we get stuff outbound there, there, and there. They're now coming out. And then they need to go in here. One and two. One and two. And then clean up the rest of the belts. There. And we need the outbound as well. And once we have the outbound, we are good to go. Outbound and outbound. So this one, each of these is producing one a 10 every minute. That means six of these will produce 60 every minute. That's one every second. One every second consumes two of each per second, which is exactly what we built here. So what you have here and that and now you can see why I want this one to be uh, to be built like this also if you took a take a look at the inbound 
This one is every four seconds. It is consuming two. So there are four of them, and that means every second it consumes two of them, which is exactly what you can produce in an extractor that is outputting two per second. So extractor, oil extractor with two per second, build this one, then you get everything exactly at ratio that you need. No, uh, no worries. And you can forget about all of this and tear it down and build this one instead. This is the super duper easy way of making red science or red science cubes nothing to it and uh, the only trick there is to it is you have to allow them to go back and forth a few times before you put them out on the belt otherwise they will simply sometimes get starved and this is just to be absolutely sure that they're not starved and this one will just continue to work it's completely closed off you don't need any other input the only input is the oil extractor and that's it so i hope you found this little quick tutorial uh, useful if you did well, hit the like button. If you want, and if you want to see more tutorials, then consider subscribing to the channel to see what else is coming up. I'm doing a lot of the Dyson Sphere program content these days. And as long as there's an interest, I'm going to continue to do it. And of course, if you have good ideas for other tutorials, let me know in the comment section below and I'll uh, get right on it. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay effective.